the end of an industrialized society. Right. I, I would say, though, this is um, maybe it's my evil capitalist coming out. So just bear with me. I think that in this reality where we de where we defocus on serving the economy, I think we have to be careful we don't overdo it because we are in an age of abundance here. But we, all, we always have to remember that this age of abundance is a very fragile miracle. So when we're making adjustments to the current order, maybe this is just a temperamental thing, is that we have to be extremely cautious with what jobs we say aren't important or which incentives we change because that amount of abundance can like right because the really the, so the giant right because the un, giant crazy economy. mechanized economy that you're talking about is extremely brittle right yeah. it's these long long supply chains right you know how you get shrimp to eat they fish for the shrimp in the gulf of mexico they put it on boats they send it to thailand where it's deshelled then put it on planes and fly it back to the united states it's like it's and cheaper, that whole, by some, miracle, it's for, by, by some metrics, it's cheaper. By a whole lot of other metrics, it's actually just it's just externalizing the cost is, of the it, slave labor and right, other people. But it, it's cheaper to the consumer at the right, end of the day. But it's brittle. Consumer, it's brittle. Right, to the consumer, right. as long as the consumer and the company doesn't have to pay for the externalized harm that's actually being done to the consumer and everyone in the long run. But – if we're going to, rather than saying, oh, I'm going to make some rule and dismantle this or dismantle that, that's not what I'm asking for. And what right. people are suggesting here is, no, no, what we do is from the bottom up, build the rebuild the resiliency of local systems right. that takes the pressure off these fragile, brittle, dangerously complex supply chains. So the less we're relying on them, then the less dangerous it will be to make right. these adjustments slowly the over time. The other thing is, is if it, I've talked about this a ton. Yes, about maintained by violence and subversion of brown people's freedom. Yes. Yes, to some, to some extent, yes, obviously. Um, but the other thing is, if you do a bottom up and it's organic and by nature slow, it's also less likely to mess up what we have, right? It, like you can see big, like thick fingered, clumsy government saying, I want to fix this thing. So I'm going to radically pull like invert this incentive over here in the course of like a month. Like you could destroy everything. But if there's just like a groundswell of consumers deciding <laughs> I am willing to pay more money so this is organic or I am willing to borrow a drill, then you are going to more likely get the benefits you want without completely destroying the systems that led to the abundance in the first place. But right. that's not very satisfying. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that clip from my show, The War of Ideas. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. And if you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing. If you want to watch the whole episode or any other of my episodes, you can find the link to my call-in show down there in the description. Now, if you didn't like the clip, um, please let me know down in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts. If you're interested in exploring the broader Pangburn universe or seeing any more of my stuff right now, click one of the buttons waving around my head. I hope to see you out there engaging in the war of ideas.